Hello. Today is Friday, August 28th. I'm Ron Marenchin, Music Coordinator at Trinity Lutheran Church in Ashland, Ohio. Let us use together for our devotions the LBW Responsive Prayer 1, the Suffrages for Mourning, found on page 161 in the Green Book, page 161. If you have a red ELW, it's very similar to what's on page 328, but uh, I'll be using uh, the Green Book 161. Holy God, holy and almighty, holy and immortal, have mercy and hear us. Let us pray the prayer our Lord has given us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us confess the faith which we hold in common, using the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. O Lord, I cry to you for help. In the morning my prayer comes before you. Give me the joy of your saving help again, and sustain me with your bountiful spirit. Let my mouth be full of your praise and your glory all the day long. Every day will I bless you and praise your name forever and ever. Awesome things will you show us in your righteousness, O God of our salvation, O hope of all the ends of the earth, and of the seas that are far away. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. He redeems my life from the grave, and crowns me with mercy and loving kindness. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. Today is the fourth Friday in August. Psalm 84 is one of the psalms appointed for the fourth Friday of the month. This psalm is a psalm of pilgrimage. Every year the Jewish people were required to travel to Jerusalem to worship God in the temple. As they journeyed from wherever they were living, they would sing songs, as music always makes a journey shorter. And the Jewish songbook is the book of Psalms. And from this song book, they had some favorites that they liked to sing as they traveled to Jerusalem. Most of these psalms are found in Psalms 120 to 134, but there are others scattered throughout the book. Psalm 84 is one of them. The title of this psalm is very interesting. It has three instructions. One, to the chief musician. Okay, that makes sense. Two, on an instrument of gath. Psalm 84 is one of the three psalms that are to be played on a specific instrument. The instrument of gath, which is thought to be a stringed instrument like a lute or lyre. Now, gath was a Philistine stronghold city during the time of King David. In fact, Goliath and his brothers came from Gath. During the 16-month period of exile from Israel and Philistine, 
David spent time in Gath. So we can assume that David used this time to learn how to play the instrument of Gath. And maybe David is also saying that God is Lord of all, even the Philistines, and even their musical instruments. And even more interesting, the word Gath also signifies in Hebrew, a wine press. More than a few scholars have supported and supposed that the instrument and the music it played were used during wine festivals. Perhaps there is a connection with the Feast of Tabernacles, which is connected to a harvest theme. Hmm. Third title at the top of this psalm is A Psalm of the Sons of Korah. K-O-R-A-H. Korah. Now these sons of Korah were Levites from the family of Kohath. By David's time, it seems they served in the musical aspect of the temple worship, according to 2 Chronicles 20, 19. Even though an ancestor of theirs had led a rebellion against Moses. Were they dedicated to the worship of God because of the grace and forgiveness that had been shown them? What a background story for this psalm, which longs for the beauty and presence of God found in the place of worship. Now, as for the word sila, well, no one knows for sure. It is a Hebrew word which has been interpreted as an instruction calling for a break in the singing. Perhaps a moment of silence. Perhaps what we would call an instrumental interlude. Perhaps featuring solos on the instrument of gaff. Who knows exactly? But for sure it was a moment to ponder the words which had come before. Psalm 84 How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord of hosts! My soul longs, indeed it faints, for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh sing for joy to the living God. Even a sparrow finds a home and the swallow a nest for herself, where she may lay her young at your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and God. Happy are those who live in your house, ever singing your praise. Selah. Happy are those whose strength is in you in whose heart are the highways to Zion. As they go through the valley of Baca, they make it a place of springs. The early rain also covers it with pools. They go from strength to strength. The God of gods will be seen in Zion. O Lord God of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O God of Jacob. Selah. Behold our shield, O God, look on the face of your anointed. For a day in your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than live in the tents of wickedness. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. He bestows favor and honor. No good thing does the Lord withhold from those who walk uprightly. O Lord of hosts, Happy is everyone who trusts in you. Here ends the reading. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. O God, our Son and Shield, you heard the prayer of Christ your anointed and raised him to the lasting joy of your presence. Guide us in our pilgrimage through life that, loving you and offering praise in your house, we may find a home in your eternal dwelling place and joyfully look upon your glorious splendor, which we behold in Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. There are two famous saints of the church who died on August 28th, about 16 centuries ago. Interestingly, both happened to be from the continent of Africa. Augustine, 
Bishop of Hippo, died in 430 A.D. Augustine was one of the greatest theologians of the Western Church. A native of North Africa, he recovered from a debauched young adulthood through the influence of his mother, Monica, and Bishop Ambrose of Milan. Besides writing influential theological books, he served as Bishop of Hippo, which is in present-day Algeria. And then the church remembers Moses the Black, monk, a martyr who died around 400 AD. Converted from life as a thief and robber to Christianity, Moses was an Ethiopian who became a desert monk at Skete. The change in his heart and life had a profound impact on his native country. Alas, he was murdered when Berber bandits attacked the monastery. Let us pray. We thank you, O God, for all your servants and witnesses of times past, for Abraham and Sarah, Moses and Miriam, Deborah and Gideon, Samuel and Hannah, for Isaiah and the prophets, for Mary, mother of our Lord, for Mary Magdalene, Peter, Paul, and for all the apostles, for Stephen and Phoebe, and for all the martyrs and saints in every time and in every land. Especially this day we give you thanks for the witness of Augustine and Moses the Black. In your mercy, give us, as you gave them, the hope of salvation and the promise of eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. O God, we thank you for your Son who chose the path of suffering for the sake of the world. Humble us by his example, point us to the path of obedience, and give us strength to follow your commands. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Almighty and merciful God, source of all life, health, and healing, look with compassion on our world brought low by disease. Protect us in the midst of the grave challenges that assail us, and in your fatherly providence grant recovery to the stricken, strength to those who care for them, and success to those working to eradicate this scourge. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. We give thanks to you, Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have protected us through the night from all danger and harm. We ask you to preserve and keep us this day also from all sin and evil, that in all our thoughts, words, and deeds we may serve and please you. Into your hands we commend our bodies and souls and all that is ours. Let your holy angels have charge of us, that the wicked one have no power over us. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty order our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen.